The reason why I have started to play two floor toms, one on either side of myself, when I was setting up a second set in my studio, I didn't have room to put two on the right, and I was used to two on the right. But also, I like the sound of two floor toms when you hit them together, so it's a lot easier to hit them when they're on my sides because I don't have to reach over. And in turn, I also figured out that sometimes patterns where I would normally have to cross over or play a smaller tom to reach the snare drum, but now a lot easier because from starting from the sides into the center, I'm able to simply just reach over without having to uh, cross over like this. power of two drums, one on each side, gives me more of like a stereo effect. I feel like I can hear the drums better because they're both on either side, so they're clearer. And usually it also makes for very interesting fills. For example, if I were to normally play a fill that used my right hand on the snare drum, then my left hand on the rack tom, like this, I would usually end on my right hand on the floor tom and then have to crash with my left, which is comfortable enough as I've worked on it, but sometimes I don't really like the feeling of having to crash on my left. I would prefer to crash on my right. So starting the fill on my left hand just made more sense. And for me to get the same general sounding fill, I would start on my left on the snare, move up to the tom with my right hand, and then go to the left side floor tom with my left hand. Two. Now I'll play them with a the crash. Version two. I tend to use both fills pretty often, but I definitely like to use these fills when I'm playing in a groove and I just have to find a way to get from one part to the other and I want a simple fill that descends from the snare down the tops. I'll play a beat with the fill version 1 then a beat with the fill version 2. So depending on what works well for you, the options are there because you have floor tom now on either side. Um, so now I'm going to play an example of using my left side floor tom in a recording I did with a song called Walking Away by the band A Thousand Mothers. I actually recorded the drums at my studio at home and I found that having worked on the drum part for this song using both side floor toms, it was kind of an interesting example of how this can work well. Um, there's a part in the verse where I play both floor toms just with both hands. Then I add the snare drum. And it's more of a 6-8 kind of pattern. And then later in the song, I also am playing quarter note hits on the snare drum and playing both floor toms. Then I add the rack tom and I play the snare drum. And then I even play both hands pretty hard, almost like a double bass part, and use my hand on the snare drum. So I'm usually switching which hand is playing depending on the pattern. But again, this is a lot easier because I have a floor tom on either side. This is the first pattern. One, two, three, four. second pattern in this song uses both floor toms. It's one where I'm adding the snare drum as a backbeat, and then I also add my left foot hi-hat. One, two, three,
third pattern, I basically play straight notes on my right hand in one floor tom, but I'm mixing in and adding the rack tom with my left hand, bouncing from the rack tom to the snare, then to the side floor tom. One, two, three. pattern, I'm using more of a quarter note feel in the snare drum because I'm hitting the downbeats in the snare and that's really to just accentuate the staccato motion of the rhythm in the guitar. I'm also playing the bass drums on the upbeats, so in between my right hand to give it kind of an almost double bass feeling. That's this pattern. One, two, three, four. Finally, the last pattern I'm playing in this song, I utilize both toms again by really hitting pretty hard, trying to make it almost sound like double bass. And I'm using the snare drum on the backbeat again, but adding a bass drum pattern that's a little more on the downbeats and just utilizing the right and left hand floor toms as more of a straight sound that's enveloping the entire group. And it goes like this. One, two, three, four.